Okay, so we have a system of equations and we're being asked to solve it. It looks like substitution might be the way to go because uh, up here we have a quadratic and here we have a linear uh, function. So it might be easy to solve uh, for one of the variables down here and plug it into the top equation. I think um, the easiest variable to solve for is x down here. So we can just add 8 to both sides. So I do plus 8 plus 8. We end up with uh, x equals 8 minus 3y. And then we can take this x and we can plug it uh, into the first equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we do that, we get y squared equals, and then now we're, we will replace x with 8 minus 3y. And that whole thing is squared. And minus 64. So we have y squared equals. So let's go ahead and multiply this out. Let's just write it twice. 8 minus 3y times 8 minus 3y, and then minus 64. All right, let's go ahead and multiply it out. So y squared equals, so we'll take this 8 and multiply it by both of these, and then take this minus 3y and multiply it by both of these. So 8 times 8 is 64, and then 8 times minus 3y is minus 24y. This times this is minus 24y, and this times this is going to give us 9y squared. And we still have the minus 64. Wow, pretty intense. Let's just uh, check that because I did that pretty quickly. So 8 times 8 is 64, and then 8 times negative 3y is negative 24y. Check. The middle ones give you negative 24y. And then negative 3y times negative 3y, that's going to be a positive 9y squared. And we still have the minus 64. Oh, look, the 64s cancel. Very, very nice. Very nice. So we have y squared equals negative 48y plus 9y squared. I guess we can set it equal to 0, so we can subtract y squared. So minus y squared, minus y squared. That leaves us with 8y squared minus 48y, and that's equal to 0. So it looks like we can pull something out here. Um, I think we can pull out an 8y. And then it looks like we'll need a y here, minus 6, right? Because 6 times 8y is 48y. This gives us two possible answers. It gives us y equals 0 and y equals 6. So these are y values. This is not the answer. So now what we have to do is we have to take these and plug them back in somewhere. I think this might be the easiest place. And you have to do one at a time because your final solution is an ordered pair. So it's really important uh, to do one at a time. So when y is equal to 0, we have x equals 8 minus 3 times 0. So x equals 8 minus 0. So x equals 8. So that gives us our first ordered pair. Let's be careful here. x is 8 and y is 0, so really key, so 8 comma 0. And the next one is when y is 6. So when y is equal to 6, same thing, just plug it in here. So x equals 8 minus 3 times 6. So x equals 8 minus, 3 times 6 is 18, so you get x equals negative 10. So when x is negative 10, y is equal to 6. And those are our two solutions to this system of equations. I hope this video has been helpful.